former director of the Ghana Integrity Initiative, Vitus Axim, has urged government to digitize all institutions in procurement processes to help in the fight against corruption. He was speaking during a presentation of his key findings and recommendations on corruption risk assessment in support of achieving the Sustainable Development Goals in 2030. The Ghana Integrity Initiative and Ghana Anti-Corruption Coalition in collaboration with Star Ghana Foundation launched the policy document to assess corrupt practices in the public procurement education, health and judicial service. Vitals Azim, a former director at the Ghana Integrity Initiative who was consultant for the project, identified the ineffectiveness of government institutions in enforcing laws in public procurement. We have a procurement act, which is a good law. It's only when it comes to implementation that we are found wanting. Competitive bidding is the norm. Sole sourcing or single sourcing should be an exception, where in cases of emergency or maybe technical expertise that is not available uh, among those that are interested. And so it's not an issue of how to curb it. We should be able to deal with it if we, wanted to, we want to uh, go by the law. His findings in the health sector included the charging of unapproved fees by health professionals in urgent services as well as connivance with health insurance providers to cheat government. The findings identified bribery in the admission of students into educational institutions, nepotism in awarding of school feeding programs, among others, as paramount in the corrupt activities in the education sector. For public procurement, he presented sole sourcing, procurement fraud and favoritism as major causes of corruption risk. The anti-corruption campaigner advised government to enforce the use of electronic procurement procedures in public procurement. It reduces the face-to-face -face interactions between service providers and beneficiaries. So you reduce the amount of the chances that people have to extort money from people who are in a position to provide certain services. Head of programs at Star Ghana, Teko Saba says funding the project will go a long way to tackle corruption. Star Ghana Foundation um, had an anti-corruption call in 2017 and part of the call was to understand what happens at the various levels of corruption value chain from awareness creation to prosecution and to understand how we can work on the various links to be able to make a change. So we believe that it was important for us to support that. The policy brief, in addition with comprehensive recommendations, when fully implemented, will expedite action in fighting and eradicating corruption in the attainment of the Sustainable Development Goals.